Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Mythlook with your host Nitin Nair. Today uh, we are going to be looking into a different mythology and we are going to one of our more popular ones that we have seen here on Mythlook both the podcast as well as the website and on our YouTube channel Egyptian Mythology. We've covered three of the major deities in Egyptian mythology so far and now we thought let's look into that one character who seems to be the cause of all chaos and that is Seth. Set, also known as Set, is an Egyptian god who is regarded as a patron of Upper Egypt's 11th known. He is the brother of one of the gods known as Osiris whom we've covered before and was an enemy of the god of Egypt known as Horus, who was a child of Isis. He eventually died out during the first millennium BC but he was regarded as an evil god later. The worship of Set was originally held at Nut which is a pre-dynastic center in Upper Egypt. It was the site of a vast cemetery. The town lost its position as the preeminent center of Upper Egypt after the Kingdom of Egypt unified in 3050 BC, as the capital being Abydos and the royal god became Horus. He is one of the first five gods that were created by the union of the earth and the sky. His name is often translated as the instigator of confusion and is associated with people and foreign lands. Seth was depicted as a composite figure that had a canine body, a long curved pointed snout and square tipped ears. Various animals such as the aardvark, fennec, jackal, oryx and the long snouted mouse have been attributed as his form. Even the ancient Egyptians rendered Seth's figure in various ways which make it look like a mythical composite. Some believe that it's a depiction of the giraffe as a flat topped horns resemble nose cones in the animal. The Egyptians depicted Seth in various ways such as a donkey or a man wearing a mask of made out of a donkey's head. During the late period, Seth was also depicted as a mythological creature. He is often depicted as a red-head creature with long curly tail and a dog-like body that is referred to as a Seth animal. Scholars claim that this mythological creature was inspired by the dog Saluki. Others maintain that it's a mythological creature that was only meant to represent Seth, whose other notable symbols include raccoons, crocodiles, tortoises and the griffin. Seth is the son of Geb, which was the earth, and Nut, the sky. His siblings include Osiris, Isis, Nephthys, whom he married, and fathered Anubis. According to other accounts, he had relationships with foreign goddesses Anat and Asarte, from which a crocodile deity called the Maga was born. As firstborn of the gods, the ruler of the land of Egypt was Osiris. He was able to reign as a ruler of the world and teach newly created people to worship the gods and provide them with laws and culture. When it came to choosing a wife, Osiris married Isis and she was able to bestow on humanity various gifts of equality and compassion. During this time, the world was a paradise with everyone having equal rights and food abundance. Seth became resentful of the success of his brother and plotted to kill him. His anger grew when his wife and sister Nephthys deceived him by seducing Osiris in the form of Isis. Seth was also called Setek, Setesh and Set. Seth was a trickster who was known for his ability to lead storms and manage warfare. During the early dynastic period of Egypt, he was an important deity who was known for his benevolent nature and for being able to grant love spells through his name. He was also known for saving the sun god Ra from a serpent known as Apophis. He was also able to prevent the creature from blocking Ra's path through the night sky. During the time of Ramses II, the myth of Set had gained widespread recognition. He had transformed from being a god of love and protection to a villain who stood for everything that the Egyptians hated. Some of the gods' most hated topics included foreign influence, famine, disorder and waste. Seth was one of the main characters in the Hollywood movie Gods of Egypt which we all loved when it came out many years ago. When you look at Seth, the whole concept of him transforming from a god who was known for abundance and love and fashion and many other positive attributes into something that was completely different which also tallied with the rise in popularity of another god Horus clearly indicates how people had a very important role in determining who the gods were that they worshipped 
and who the gods were that had different levels in the pantheon. Now, this has been common in many of the mythologies which did not have a formal structure in place. For example, mythologies like the Greek, Roman and the Indian mythology have a very prominent structure outside which the gods don't operate, but it is the freedom of the people who actually worship to worship who they love best and who they wanted to worship as well. In Egypt, it was slightly different because the order can always be changed because of the pharaoh who is a ruling entity at that point in time. We'll be looking at a lot more mythology from Egyptian and Indian mythology in the days to come. So until then, this is your host Nitin Nair reminding you, if you're watching this as a podcast on YouTube, please click subscribe, leave a comment, like the video, it really helps the algorithm. Or if you're listening to this as a podcast, Please click subscribe and you know follow us for regular updates on Mythlook. Don't also forget to check out the website that we are putting up for you as well. Until next time, this is your host Nitin Ayer reminding you once again that Mythlook is the home of mythology.